Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex here. Welcome back to more MXGP2. Today we are here and I remember I forgot to up the difficulty, so... Well, now that I've remembered, I should be able to do it for the next one, because I'm going to record the next episode straight after this, so... Yeah, that's a good start. Don't normally get that. I'm just going to go straight around the outside of everyone here. Tixa. Tixie. It's the whole shot. Oh no. <laughs> Man's just called carnage. That's dropped me down the order a bit. Anyway, obviously after that, that's not going to be a, that's not a good start. But uh, we're in the sort of championship battle now, and you know some good results. And I reckon honestly we can go for this championship. So let's see what we can do here. Let's just try and gain some positions. Well, this race isn't going particularly to plan. I mean, honestly, just haven't got the pace and. It's really weird, I don't understand. It was this, I think I recognised this track. It was one of the ones that we did in the uh, sort of pre season or wild card entries, remember at the start of the sort of career mode? I think. Or maybe what I've just done a bit of practice on in, the, in another video. But I don't know, it's just weird. Not very fast at all here today. I mean, it is what it is, obviously. But I still probably should be putting the difficulty up. And I will for the next. Uh, episode which will be about out in about a week's time so don't worry I oh, will up the difficulty but <laughs> oh dear I'm up in the difficulty myself by just crashing into everything basically so it's last lap guys and I'm sort of clawing back a bit more of a respectable finish to this race here just need to not do anything too silly in the last few corners of the this race here but I'm I just surprised that the pace wasn't it just isn't here today like to go for a victory especially so yeah obviously that first the uh, first corner collision didn't help i think tixie also has been pushed down the order he's crashed more than once so that's a bit strange but anyway 12th position as we cross the line okay that's not actually too bad so we're not gonna be too disappointed about that yeah look so anstey's up there but tixie finished 17th crazy Right then guys, race number two obviously, we can't change the difficulty for this, but we'll change the difficulty for the next one, and I've got to say that first race, we managed to come back in the end, but yeah, look at that, Tixie, number one, he's in the lead, yet he finished 17th at that last race, I think it shows that qualifying, what? Why is it, I have to use a flashback, I'm a bit confused there, look, I think it's this number, I think it's Anstey that's, look, because we're down the inside here, and Anstey just sort of turns in on us here. And he keeps turning in on us. Oh no, I didn't mean to, No, I just did that, and now I can't use it again. But, yeah, we just got involved in an accident. Anyway, what I was saying earlier on the lap is, I think it shows how much qualifying makes a difference in this game. Um, that, you know, one of the best drivers on the grid can have a few accidents, and then be struggling to get sort of top 15 he didn't finish top 15 he finished 17th after like two crashes like the AI don't seem to know how to overtake what was that uh, they're not very good at overtaking um, it seems at least just from that evidence which is surprising obviously because you know looking at Tixia and all that and the other guys at the top of the championship obviously they scored a lot of wins a lot of podiums but when it comes to the hard matter of overtaking it, it's, they find it tough obviously because the bikes aren't that different. So, yeah, maybe it shows that we're actually decent in overtaking. Well then, we've closed up on the leaders here. Oh, been reset there because we landed on top of that um, other bike unfortunately. So, <laughs> that lost us a bit of ground. But last lap, and well, we've got a decent chance here. Of, well, fourth place is solid, and I'm not going to lie. Obviously, it stops our run of you know victories most of the last few rounds, so that'd be disappointing. But whatever. At the end of the day, so you can't win every single race. And let's be honest, this you know we haven't had a good race or round at all. You know, finishing was it 12th and fourth? Okay, but when you're going for a championship, those results are bad. So I, I suppose it, sh it shouldn't really matter too much at the end of the day. I mean. It's only one round. We can really claw those points back, obviously, if we're good in the next races. So it's weird that last episode, obviously, I managed to dominate those races, but recently, well, in this round at least, pace means you know I'm not. 
I don't think I'm any faster than the other AI here, so a bit annoying, but I'm going to put the difficulty up for sure. So we're getting to the last few corners, guys. Can we get on the podium? Get past Jalud. Jalud, sorry. Gonna go for the inside line. No! Flashbacks just in time! <laughs> That's a bit of an optimistic move, so can we go outside? Yes, we can around the outside, and we grab a podium on the last corner. Thanks for a cheeky flashback. Uh, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Look, Tixier finished second in that one. He's just not good at overtaking. He only got 26 points, we got 29. Okay, it's, it's not too bad. But hurling, sort of dominant round there. We stay fourth place in the championship there. Um, we are 32 points behind the leader there, but Hurlings is now up into second position. So, guys, thanks for watching this episode. It's been Alex Maddy. Goodbye.